Welcome back, brothers and sisters. I am Braden. This is Langley Outdoors Academy, the place where we not only talk about what's going on in the gun world, but also how we're going to fix it together. And tonight's content, you are going to love, so please send this out. ATF Director Steve Dettelbach just went on ABC and made so many mistakes. In fact, these are so big, they could show up later. I'm going to walk you through the entire thing. Everything will be linked in the description box below if you want to find out more. And if you are new or a returning viewer, please consider liking this video, subscribing to the channel, and turning that notification bell on. We need as many of you as possible to help the channel to grow, to pass the blessing of the Second Amendment along to the next generation. This is something you are going to love. I'm going to say a quick word from our sponsor, Aura, and then we are going to hit it on the other side. Financial fraud happens everywhere in the United States every single day, and like you, I am vulnerable to it as well. My own personal story, my wife has had her credit card stolen while she was getting gas and would never have noticed that our money was being used incrementally across the United States had she not been looking directly at the app when it was occurring. It is because of this story that I'm happy to partner with our sponsor, Aura. Now, Aura is an easy-to-use app that includes everything you need to stay safe online. Aura protects you from scammers and hackers by scanning the dark web where criminals sell stolen information, looking for your emails, passwords, and social security numbers. It alerts you fast if it finds anything. Let Aura do the hard work of keeping you safe online. If you sign up right now at Aura, they will give you a two-week free trial with my link. Go to my sponsored link, Aura.com, in the description box below and get your two-week free trial for yourself. And thank you so much to Aura for sponsoring this content. All right, my brothers and sisters, as I teased in the introduction, we have got to listen to Steven Dettelbach, the director of the ATF. Now, this is important because he made a crucial mistake in this interview. And me and Tim from Military Arms Channel went on our second channel, Second Legacy, and we broke it down even further. So make sure you check that in the description box as well. But let's get into this because this is the first clip, and I'll say it out loud. I am not above saying I agree with Stephen Dettelbach on this one piece. Check this out. Uh, one of my biggest fears is that people will somehow come to accept or be callous to the idea that this level of firearms violence is somehow just something that's part of being in our country, part of being an American. It is not. It is wholly unacceptable. Uh, it, bluntly, it's un-American. It's not part of our story. It's not who we are as a people. All right, so I will be the first one to say that I would agree that this is not the American way of life. We are not a naturally violent people. We have the blessings of the Second Amendment in this country, which guarantee our freedom. It is being misused by criminals, which is un-American. Taking the violence to the streets is un-American. I'll agree with that one point. However, let's get into the second part, and this is where he goes way off base, because what this interviewer is doing, this is from ABC, this is headline news. The interviewer is setting up a leading question around, it must be the guns, because she talks about the prevalence and the scourge of gun violence and the amount of guns. But listen to his response, and then I'm going to show you a quick follow-up. This is where he makes the mistake. Check this out. What is the overarching issue? Is it just that we have too many guns already? Because when you look at other countries, they just don't have this problem. And so what are they doing better or we're not doing enough of? Look, it's, it's obviously a, a discussion that is happening all over the country. The president has talked a lot about it. The attorney general has talked a lot about it, uh, and others have opinions. But at ATF, uh, our job is to take the rules and laws that Congress has passed, the tools that we have, and to do everything in our power uh, to enforce them to protect the community. Look, everything we do at ATF begins and ends with public safety. Okay, so... We're going to hit on something really key that he said, and he was actually correct by a statutory definition of his job. His job is, to in, is not to interpret and not to make new laws. His job, and the ATS job, is to enforce the laws that Congress passes. That is incredibly important because the ATF is a bureaucracy charged with enforcing the laws that Congress passes. It's in the executive branch. It's in the enforcement branch. However... The problem that we're running into, and this is something that Tim and I on Second Legacy dove into really a lot deeper because it's longer form content. The problem that we're running into is they now have four individual things in the past two years that they have interpreted in a different way through definition changes. Listen to the part where he messes up. This is the third clip. This is a key point to understand as we go forward in a fight for our rights. Check this out. And so for instance, in August, uh, in order to make sure we're implementing uh, the Gun Control Act, a law that's been on the books for many, many years. We, we passed a rule uh, that said that privately made firearms or ghost guns 
uh, which are unserialized, untraceable firearms, but they shoot and they can kill if they're misused, just like other guns, are subject to the same provisions as traditional firearms under the Gun Control Act. Did you catch that? This is the key part. If you miss everything else in this video, understand what he just said. The second clip that I showed you said his job is to enforce the laws that Congress passes. That is correct. Then he follows around in the next step and says, we passed a rule. Whoa, you didn't pass a rule. You interpreted a rule. You redefined definitions inside the 1968 Gun Control Act. And therefore, you made a new law with penalties from your interpretation using something called Chevron deference. He just openly admitted that they created a new law. They passed a new rule through the ATF bureaucracy system, which impacts Americans in a negative manner. This is something so crucial to understand because in one voice or one breath, he says it's only our job to enforce laws passed by Congress, which is correct, which is why Jim Jordan is so upset about sending laws about ATF usurping power from Congress. What he means is they're making laws whole cloth. That's what the rule system is. Then he says, we passed a rule. You didn't pass anything. You aren't beholden to the voters. You are beholden to the executive bureaucracy. That's an incredibly important thing. And I bet you, bottom dollar, that you're going to see this clip show up in some sort of court document, some sort of lawsuit, because he just openly stated the definition of what the ATF is supposed to do and said what they actually did, which is in contradiction to the prior. And that's what I've got for you guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Did I land that plane? Am I way off? And I will see you on the next one. I'm Braden. See you later.